Hey y'all, Catherine here. Today I have a fun video for y'all. So lately I've been sharing lots of recipes, but in today's video I am sharing three slider recipes that have gone viral when I have posted them. They are just that good. 10 out of 10, highly recommend any of these three recipes because they are just mwah, chef's kiss. Enjoy. Let's make some smoky cheeseburger sliders. Season and brown one pound of ground beef. Stir in a half of a cup of mayo and mix well. Cut some Hawaiian rolls in half, add your ground beef mixture, add some cheese, some pickle slices, and put the top right back on. Baste the top with some melted butter and add sesame seeds and throw it on your pellet grill at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the buns are toasty. Slice them up and enjoy. Here's how to make some smoky ham and cheese sliders. Slice a 12 pack of Hawaiian rolls in half and place it into the bottom of a foil pan. Layer on a half of a pound of ham and Swiss cheese and then go ahead and put the top bun right back on top. In a small bowl, add in four tablespoons of melted butter, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, a teaspoon of Worcestershire, and some salt and pepper. Mix that together and use a basting brush to put that all over the top of these rolls. Make sure to get the sides and all over the top. Place that in a 350 degree smoker for about 20 minutes. Come back inside and baste the tops with one more tablespoon of melted butter. Sprinkle on some onion flakes and some dried parsley. Pop that on a cutting board. Slice into the 12 individual sandwiches and... Here's how to make some smoky breakfast sliders. Begin by preheating your smoker or oven to 350 degrees. Brown one pound of breakfast sausage and scramble up eight eggs. Then take a 12 pack of Hawaiian rolls and slice in half. Place the bottom in a foil tray, add your scrambled eggs and top with some Colby Jack cheese. Then add on your brown sausage. I season the sausage with some of this Everglade seasoning and then top that with six slices of American cheese. I added the top half of the Hawaiian rolls and basted the tops with melted butter, garlic, and parsley. I then popped it on my 350 degree smoker for about 20 minutes. This can be made in the oven as well. Pop that on a cutting board, then used my knife to slice it into the 12 sandwiches and... I hope that you guys enjoyed those three recipes. Let me know if you give them a try. Be sure to tag me here on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see your recreations of the recipes I shared because you will not regret it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see y'all again real soon with another one. Bye y'all.